Hello and welcome to Tech Gadgets. Uh, today I am going to review Mahendra E2O Plus uh, electric vehicle. So the Mahendra E2O Plus is a four-door version of the smaller two-door E2O. The car has been priced between 5.46 lakhs to 8.46 lakhs. The Mahendra E2O Plus sees improvement in the power range and charging time. So in 2009 Frankfurt Motor Show and the DC design car made it to production in the form of a two-door and was christened the E2O in 2013. The car is still viewed as expensive for its size but hasn't stopped Mahendra from bringing the E2O Plus, the four-door version of the car that launched in India. The E2O Plus is an extended version of the two-door hatch. This four-door version is available in three variants and price starts from 5.46 to 8.46 lakhs ex showroom Delhi. And Mahendra E2O Plus like the E2O, the new car body is made out of ABS panel and not pressed metal. The panel's versatile character helps in molding it to form a wide variety of products which once again has helped Mahendra in keeping both the weight of the car and manufacturing costs down. And Mahendra E2O Plus cabin, it also offers owners an easier option of replacing body panels in case of a bump or dent. Well, the styling of the car has not changed drastically from its uh, two-door sibling. The cabin space certainly will be a big USP on this car. And the cabin volume has gone up by over 150 litres, which is 30% more compared to the regular E2O. The cabin space can now be compared to the Maruti Suzuki Alto 800 or even a Hyundai i10. The headlamp cluster is borrowed from E2O, which shows that the Mahendra wants its customers to think that the car is still cute and hence there been no effort put into change. But one thing which a buyer will notice is the plus ME badge on either sides of the car. It is the first time we will see Mahendra electric badging on uh, any of its cars and going forward all products will carry the same badge. So the length of the car is increased by 310mm to 3590mm and uh, the wheelbase is up by 300mm at 2258mm. The face now gets a new grille which is akin to the Scorpios and the rest of the Mahendra family of vehicles. And the E2O Plus comes uh, loaded with features like GPS, uh, enabled navigation system and onboard computer that warns you about the car driving range. And the touchscreen monitor is easy to use and it's uh, very expensive. The E2O Plus also gets an SOS feature called Revive which is uh, being carried over from the E2O that gives you an additional range of 7 to 10 kilometers uh, if your battery power dips uh, below 10% and this can be activated by a touch button or using the E2O Plus app on your smartphone and the mobile app also hosts other features like uh, switching on of the car's air conditioning and even locking unlocking the car uh, also. The top specification P8 variant of the car has a three-phase induction motor which is now more powerful than what we have seen on the two-door E2O with peak power of 40 bhp and torque of 91 newton meters but most of the work has been done on the battery it now gets a 210 ah lithium ion battery which claims a driving range of 140 kilometers and a top speed of 85 kilometers per hour the other variants get a slightly less powerful battery claiming the same driving range of uh, 110 kilometers the driving range of the car however will vary according to one's driving style and traffic conditions a full charge for e2o plus takes about nine hours uh, same time as uh, what two-door e2o takes uh, to power up uh, the drive is extremely smooth and of course very tight the car is quick in short bursts and uh, uh, but the slightly softer suspension offers a decent ride but you do feel some of the bumps and potholes occasionally the rear seat also the cabin is spacious and offers decent legroom the car room uh, uh, comes standard with the 14 inch wheels and power steering as well 4.35 meter turning radius is best in segment and the automatic gearbox is unchanged from two door variant and gets a boost or sport mode and uh, although a good car in its own right the e2o plus does suffer from the same challenges that every electric car in india faces we still don't have the infrastructure to support electric cars in india and bearing states like karnataka delhi Rajasthan and other states have announced any kind of incentives for uh, electric vehicles in India which is the reason why sales of electric cars are less than 1% of overall car sales. We hope that with GST coming in the government also announces some major incentives under the FAME scheme of to encourage the sales of electric cars. So hope that guys uh, you like this update. Uh, please comment and subscribe for my channel for more tech and auto related updates. Thank you.